Hello, thank you for being here today. Uh, my presentation today will be about um, how we apply quality by design to the development of cell therapy media. Um, the agenda uh, includes the introduction to Irvine Scientific. Uh, for those that are not familiar with Irvine, uh, cell therapy media requirements, and then the design control process, which includes quality by design. Um, Irvine Scientific was established in 1970. It was first established as a serum supplier. Between a few years, Irvine Scientific expanded uh, the business and product offerings to the cell culture media. Um, with that, we went from being a serum supply and making serum-derived products to serum-free products to animal component-free to now chemically defined products. Uh, we were the first company in the history to commercialize media for in vitro fertilization procedures. Uh, we are now, after 45 years, a cell culture media supplier. Cell culture is what we do. Media is what we understand, and that is the focus of our expertise. Um, in order to uh, bring clarity throughout the presentation, I'd like to go through some quick definitions um, on who the raw material suppliers are, who are the, co the suppliers of components of media so that we use to make um, the final product. Our final product is the media. The raw material suppliers provide zero or chemicals or growth factors. Uh, they supply to us, companies like Irvine Scientific, and then we make the media that is supplied to you, uh, companies or cell processing centers. Another definition that I want to uh, make sure is clear throughout the presentation is the GMP definition. Uh, we have learned that uh, cell processing centers or clinics are requesting a GMP certificate. Uh, a GMP certificate does not exist. However, if you are promised a, a GMP media, that means that uh, the, the cell culture media was produced in compliance with an acceptable quality management systems. Either a FDA registered facility produced a GMP media, they have to meet the 21 CFR 820 for the quality systems regulations, or an ISO uh, 13485 certificate. They, are, they sustain either of those, of those standards. Um, both regulation, whether the company is producing media, sustain one or the other, uh, they must establish and follow very stringent controls and very stringent quality management systems, systems that ensure that the product will meet consistency from lot to lot. Uh, so certifications are issued by the regulatory authorities, and those are against recognized quality systems. Um, GMP really means having a suitable and acceptable quality management system in place. And so once you are promised a GMP media, all of these regulations have to be met. All of the steps have to be followed, and the media that you receive has to have traceability from lot to lot, and they have to demonstrate consistency. That is in a nutshell what GMP means. Um, I would like to give you a quick overview of our expertise and our experience we have gone through with our customers already that are uh, preparing submissions for regulatory authorities. And um, we have provided them with the support that they need in order for them to be successful with at least phase one and phase two of those submissions. Uh, we all know that the, the cell um, therapy media regulations are unclear right now. However, the cell therapy applications are clear. For example, in Japan, the cell therapy media or the raw material qualification and documentation must meet the Japanese standards for biological ingredients. That means that the media used in the cell therapy applications must meet the standards of the Japanese regulations. So we have to understand those very clearly in order for us to develop a cell therapy media that will be successful during your submission. Same thing with Korea. China, the regulations aren't very clear. However, we know that there are guidelines that have been issued, and that requires that the uh, therapy treatments use uh, media that is traceable and that is uh, controllable. Same with the US and same with uh, the EU. 
So why is developing high quality cell therapy media important? Even though the regulatory requirements for cell therapy media are not clear. We don't have them. We, don't, we haven't been given standards to follow during the development of cell therapy media. Why is it important? It is important to understand the criticality of developing a controlled cell, cell therapy media because we know our customers will need to demonstrate that the media used is safe and is effective for their use. So Irvine Scientific has a lengthy experience with developing control medical devices, class two and class two medical, three medical devices. So we use the same standards and approach at the development of the cell therapy media as we do during the development of media for assisted reproductive technologies and the in vitro fertilization procedures. That is why our expertise are very relevant to the cell therapy media development. So we use a risk-based approach during the development of cell therapy media. Uh, we use design control, a gated process, where we identify critical steps and critical attributes. We use raw material qualifications, supply chain management, and finished product um, management and, qual and qualification as well. So quality by design. One aspect of GMP is design control. And so adhering to design control for regulatory, um, for research use only products, uh, provide lot to lot consistency. Uh, minimizes the risk of failure uh, during the scale up production from preclinical to clinical application all the way to commercialization. Uh, cell culture media offer for research use only or further manufacturing use are not required to go through the gated process of design control. However, because we understand the, the, your requirements, we have decided at Irvine Scientific to put these products through a gated process, which includes a very stringent control of the design control. So design control process at Irvine Scientific has been designed to follow seven, um, six different phases of design. Because of time right now, I am only going to concentrate on phase two. Here is where the most important part of design control takes place for cell therapy media. Phase two is where the raw materials are analyzed, all of the raw materials that are going to be used in that finish or final formulation are analyzed one by one by one. The analysis include the critical attributes, the importance of that raw material, the high risk of the material, and the, the assessment of the material and the final intended use of the product. For example, if, if the raw material is HSA, we must ensure that we do uh, test the raw material for uh, functionality, for characterization, that we test the material to ensure that it will work in the final products as intended. We know that HSA, there can be variability from lot to lot, and we have to ensure that the raw material is tested individually per each lot. Um, another important aspect of phase two is deciding where is this cell therapy media going to be distributed in the world. So all of the requirements from those countries are assessed at that point. If a, raw, if a product that contains a raw material that might not be accepted in Japan, for example, is going to be developed, then we need to know that that product cannot be distributed in Japan. However, we also, if we want to distribute the product in Japan, then we need to find a suitable raw material that is accepted by the PMDA and that we are all going to be able to provide the support to our customers to be able to obtain um, a, approvals of their applications. So design control process allows for the assessment, the definition, the testing and implementation of the critical steps and quality attributes. That is why it's very critical that we put these products through the design control process. Here is where quality by design takes place. So raw material qualification. Uh, we have a very stringent control process for raw material qualification. Um, this is just a, a very quick summary of what 
we require uh, before accepting a raw material to be placed into a final product. Certifications are a requirement, certificate of analysis, certificate of origin, certificate of origin whether it's the source of the material. And the material is from chemical application, plant, microbial, animal, and what type. And if it comes from animal, what is the, the, uh, the animal is derived from? Is there a viral safety analysis? Is there a viral testing for the raw material? All the evidence is required to be presented prior to the qualification of the raw material. Um, we also do a production method requirement, uh, whether it's synthesis, a fermentation, it's extraction method, the contact material. If the material is not animal derived at all, however, it goes through a uh, process where it becomes in contact with an animal derived equipment or component, then we also require the attestation of that raw material to be viral safe. Um, confirmation of supplier's definitions. We have our own animal component free and animal derived definitions. However, we do not adopt the supplier's definitions. We must ensure that either they match or that we assess the raw material for, uh, to match it with our own definition. The finished product, once all the raw materials are qualified, the suppliers are qualified, the material is now used, and the finished product is made, there are many, many requirements as well to meet uh, CGMP. Uh, we must ensure that we only use release raw material, uh, that process validations are in place, that in-process testing are in place, and the environmental monitoring is ensured. The media is then QC tested for final product testing. Uh, we could perform formula verification testing, in-use testing, active ingredients, potency, relevant, very relevant functional test. It's very critical for cell therapy media that we uh, apply the actual relevant functional assays to the final product. And all of the results of the testing is then reported on a certificate of analysis. So again, our finished products go through a very stringent control process. Uh, many methods are validated. Uh, there are qualifications. We follow certifications either for equipment, processes, methods, and or employees. This is the aspect of GMP that we take all of our cell culture media for cell therapy applications uh, through this process. So what is Irvine Scientific Responsibility to you? Our responsibility is to ensure that the raw materials that are used in the media go to a critical control process. It requires a rigorous and evaluation. Uh, we ensure that before using the raw materials in the final media, that we assess the requirement of that raw material in the final use. And once we make the media, then we must ensure that the component used to make um, a, the, the product are also tested, that the final product is tested, and the results are provided to you in a certificate of analysis. However, our responsibility does not end there. Our responsibility is when you need our support, our technical support, our regulatory support, and we have to be ready to provide you with all the support that you need in order for your applications uh, to be accepted by the regulatory authorities and to be successfully approved. So during the, your communication with the regulatory authorities, we have to and must be ready to provide the information that you need. In this case, it could be um, a support with the experience and expertise that we have. We can provide you technical information, traceability of the design, drug master files, um, information on the actual formulations, critical components, quantitative composition. We know one very important aspect of the design uh, and applications of the submissions is the residual of the media in the cell therapy. Um, that is an information that we have to provide our customer. Another important aspect is providing all the attestation that the high risk raw materials have gone through viral inactivation or viral testing. We do understand that is a requirement and we must have it ready for you when you have your um, request or queries from the regulatory authorities you're dealing with. Um, 
So that's where our support and our expertise take place. We support uh, the product development from preclinical all the way to commercial. That ends my presentation. If you have any questions, please um, let me know. Thank you.